to give you a you know sort of a brief overview there are four structural proteins that these are the proteins that made up a structure of the virus so spike s protein that acts as a trimer so it needs three copies e envelope protein that acts as a pentamer so it needs five copies mm. to act properly m uh, is a uh, is a membrane protein and it, it forms dimers and actually it forms beautiful lattice and this is something that we've been studying and we are seeing it in simulations it it actually forms a very nice grid or you know, uh, you know threads uh, you know uh, of of different dimers attached next to each so other it's a bunch of copies path. of each other and they naturally when you have a bunch of copies of each other they form an interesting lattice exactly and mm -hmm. and you, you know you, if you think about this right so 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 the this complex you know, the, the, vi the viral shape needs to be organized somehow, self-organized somehow, right? So it, it, you know, if it was a completely random process, you know, you probably wouldn't have the, the, the envelope shell of the ellipsoid shape. You know, you would have something, you know, uh, pre-random, right, uh, shape. So there is some, you know, regularity in how this, uh, you know, uh, how these uh, M-dimers get to attach to each other in a very specific directed way. Is that understood at all? Uh, it's not understood. We are now, uh, we, we've been working in the past six months since you know we, we <laughs> met, actually this is where, where we started working on, on trying to understand the overall uh, structure of the envelope and the, the key components that made up this, uh, you know, uh, structure. Wait, does the envelope also have the lattice structure or no? So, so the envelope is essentially is the outer shell of the viral particle. The N, the nucleocapsid protein, is something that is inside. Got it. But get that, the N is likely to interact with M. Does it go M and E? Like, where's the E and the so? M? So E, those different proteins, they occur in different copies on the viral particle. So, so E, this pentamer complex, we only have two or three maybe per each particle, mm -hmm. okay? We have thousand or so of M dimers that essentially made up, uh, that makes up uh, the entire, you know, outer shell. Outer shell. So most of the outer shell is the M. M dimer. It's and the lipids. M protein. When you say particle, that's the viron, the virus, the individual it's a virus. Single, yes. Single, single element of the virus. It's exactly. a single virus. Single virus. Yeah. Right. And we have about, you know, roughly 50 to 90 spike trimers. Right. So, so, so when you, you know, when you show a per, per virus particle. Per virus particle. F right. Sorry. What did you say? 50 to 90? 50 to 90. Cool. Right. So, so this is how this thing is organized. And so now typically, right, so you see these, uh, uh, the, uh, the antibodies that target, you know, spike protein, certain parts of the spike protein, but there could be some, uh, also some treatments, right? So, so these are, you know, these are small molecules that bind strategic parts of these proteins, disrupting its functioning. So one of the promising directions, uh, it's one of the newest directions, is actually targeting the M-dimer of the protein, targeting the proteins that make up this outer shell. Because if you're able to destroy the outer shell, you're essentially destroying the, the, the viral particle itself. Mm -hmm. So preventing it from, from you know, functioning at all. So that's, you think, is uh, from a sort of cybersecurity perspective, virus security perspective, that's the best attack vector? is uh, Or like a, this, uh, that's a promising attack vector? Is... I, I would say yes. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's still tons of research needs to be, you know, to be done. But uh, yes, I think, you know, so... There's more attack surface, I guess. <laughs> more attack surface, but, you know, from, from our analysis, from other evolutionary analysis, this protein is evolutionarily more stable compared to the, say, to the spike protein. Oh, and stable means a, a more uh, static target? <laughs> well, yeah, okay. so, so it, 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 it doesn't change, it doesn't evolve from the evolutionary perspective so drastically as, for example, the spike protein. 